what's happening with the Adani group of names and they are the ones which are in focus right now and uh, this is on the back of news reports alleging that there are hidden investors linked to the Adani family. But now the group came out with a clarification just at market open saying that these allegations are recycled with a clear intent to gain from short selling the stocks. And to dissect the news, the allegations and of course the implications we have with us, Devin Choksi joining in on the show right now and Vinit Bulinshkar as well uh, will be joining in just a short while from, from now. Uh, Devin, hi, good morning. Uh, good to have you on the show. Let's first start, start by understanding uh, you know, the rebuttal now from the Adani group as to how these allegations are nothing new, uh, but just recycled. Even to me also, I think it is very surprising to get this particular uh, news coming in from uh, Financial Times. Well, I guess I think uh, the American short seller and OCCRP, both of them probably seems to have taken the call whether I think they are uh, the worthy provider in this kind of a situation. I think that if at all they have some significant proofs, I think they should reach out to Indian regulators who have got far more better abilities to interpret the subject instead of, I think, giving information only to media. And I think one, could, one should not be, I think, trying to manipulate uh, this particular information for the sake of benefit that they have, uh, I think, by doing the short selling in the market. So it is a little unfortunate that I think this particular subject is being played on a proxy over a basis. If at all, I think the genuine short selling has taken place and if at all, I think they have genuine information to share. My understanding is that I think it is better to contact with Indian regulators and I think talk to them and I think put your case to them. I mean, you know, clearly uh, this new report reiterating the old facts again, right? It's pretty much a rehash and recycle of the same old stuff. These allegations wouldn't really change anything for the Adani group and nor should the investors be concerned. Regulator is on the track as far as their findings are concerned. The Supreme Court uh, appointed okay. committee is also there and I think they have also given their uh, viewpoints on the subject. I don't think that I think anybody uh, uh, who is basically having a vested interest into the subject should be taking the position of becoming the verdict provider. In this case, I think the American short seller. So in, in that kind of a situation, I find that I think you are only recycling the old information. And unnecessarily, I think, bringing up the attention of the market to you doesn't work at all well. And in, if at all, I think the regulation has to work. Probably, instead of selling outside the listed market and outside the listed market's derivative trading platform, I think the short seller should have come to Indian market and short sold this particular quantity which they wanted to sell. And unfortunately, I think they used the instrument, bond instrument for short selling in that to outside the market. I don't think that I think it justifies at all. But Okay, but by Good morning to you as well. I'm going to mark the Adani stocks and I would say there is a little bit of sentimental rub off there. There is no outright panic, which is what we want to bring out. Another point I want to bring out for our viewers is that markets will never react to the same thing twice. The balance sheet of Adani group of companies after the fundraising, after the fact that promoters have sold uh, their ownership is in a much more manageable manner. And two quarters out, mathematically, the cash flows have actually improved dramatically. So one of the reasons why the market reaction is so mature is because this is like old allegations which are accusatory in nature. B, the fundamental strength of Adani group of stocks is in a much better condition and I like to draw everyone's attention to one simple fact that if a group has gone ahead and done an acquisition, it means that they are very confident of cash flows, forget about anything else. Vineet, let's take this point forward. Should markets outrightly dismiss this uh, new set of allegations? See, you know, it's actually 1A and 1B of the same news. So earlier there were general allegations and, and now they're giving a little more specificity of how the money trail could have flown. Okay. Now the fact that the management of Adani Group is coming out and saying that there is no evidence to suggest that there is any money trail found is I'm sure that they're fairly confident that, uh, you know, their position is clear. And, uh, you know, more than that, you know, I would like to get into the actual mechanics of why I think this could be happening. So, you know, this has happened exactly after we took over the Haifa port, right? And recently, Adani has been in the news because they were looking to buy some ports in Greece after Prime Minister Modi's uh, visit to Greece. Uh, this is in direct uh, conflict with the uh, Belt and Road Initiative of the Chinese. And if I were to ask you to connect the dots, you can 
very well know that George Soros's wife is of Oriental origin, and you know all these things coming together portends a picture which is more sinister than just a mere case of uh, uh, you know of uh, uh, pointing out corruption. Uh, I believe that it goes beyond that. Uh, this OCCPR is being used only as a front for that, and uh, uh, that's where the story stands.